what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Tulsa Mayor G.T. Bynum blasted one of his top commanders after the officer denied that there was systemic racism within the department. Then this clown went as far as to say that African Americans should be shot more. Tulsa Chief of Police Wendell Franklin, the first black person to hold that position, on Thursday also denounced the incendiary comments made by Major Travis Yates. Chief Wendell Franklin and the Tulsa Police Department want to make it very clear, we do not endorse, condone, or support Yates's comments made on the show, a statement from the TPD said. This matter has been referred to our Internal Affairs Unit. Yates was on KFAQ on Monday in a weekly segment called Behind the Blue Line when he said there's no institutional racism in policing. All the research said, including Roland Fryer, an African-American Harvard professor, Heather McDonald, and the National Academy of Sciences. All of their research says we're shooting African-Americans about 24% less than we probably ought to be based on the crimes being committed, Yates said. Well, damn, Mr. Ku Klux Klansman, tell us how you really feel. Fam, man, protect yourself, protect yourself, protect yourself. Listen, these Klansmen, they got to be held accountable. That's all they are. There's no other way to put it. These are not like regular human beings. These are subhumans. And they're running around with badges and guns. And it's a bunch of them all throughout America. This is the mentality of many of them. This clown said, we're shooting African-Americans about 24% less than we ought to be. Man, y'all better be careful out there. There's so many of them out there, man. It's a damn shame. This is why the police community relationships can't work because you got police officers that don't want it to work. Listen, the overall community would like to have a good relationship with police officers, but they don't trust the police because the police can't be trusted. They've shown they have a propensity to not be trusted. And they've shown the propensity to not want peace in the community. The mayor said Travis Yates does not speak for his administration or the police force. If that's true, why is he still employed? Sounds like the mayor is either a coward or he don't really have any power and he can't help himself. He can't do anything about the races, the KKK members who are on his police force. And I've seen this in other cities. Some of these cities got black chief of police, black mayors, and they got the same problem as any of these other cities that are, have predominantly white people in charge of everything. They got a white mayor, a white chief of police, and they still gunning down black people. It's happening the same way with a black chief or a black mayor. You know why? Because the issue is systemic. And that's what the fight is about, defunding the police. That's what it's about hitting them in the pocket. See, once that happens, oh, they'll get right. And then start putting their asses in jail, locking them up. I would be very interested to see Travis' record. I want to see it. I bet you anything is full of a whole lot of civil rights violations. Oh, yeah, he's textbook. Easy to see. Travis, I want you to know something before I go. Don't take this personal. But your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. 
No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?